We can tell this is a question people are afraid to ask out loud because we've seen the search trends. Do cherry blossom trees produce cherries skyrocketed online in the past few days? So we turned to the National Park Service, the Arbor Day Foundation, and headed to the Tidal Basin to find an answer that may surprise you. So the Yoshino cherry trees, they were a gift from our friends in Japan back in 1912. Does it produce fruit? So the original Yoshino does, and you can buy those trees for fruit production, but these have been cultivated down. They no longer will bear fruit. They're sterile and they just have the flowers. However, sometimes there's a throwback to the original DNA and there will be tiny little berries. Is that technically a cherry? Yes, we kind of refer to it as a berry because it's more berry-like. The Arbor Day Foundation further explains the tree is an important source of food for many small birds. They're tiny little impalatable cherries that humans would never want to eat, but the wildlife around here does. This trait of not regularly producing fruit, does that date back to the original gift from the Japanese? Yeah, it sure does. Um, back in 1912, the trees were cultivated to just bear flowers and no fruit. It's much cleaner and neater to have a tree that doesn't bear fruit. The ones that we see here are, are descendants of those trees. Yeah. Are there cherry blossom trees in the D.C. area that will produce cherries like we typically think of? No, nope, they're all ornamental. You know, the Yoshino cherries, it grows a nice big viable cherry that, that's delicious. Just not here. Just not here. So we can verify, yes, cherry blossom trees can produce fruit, but they typically won't around D.C. and only rarely at the Tidal Basin, and not the kind you want to put on top of a Sunday. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.